Keep calm and calm on, I guess. Let's review the Benjamin Moore paint color called Calm. Whether you're considering this paint color for your next project, or you're looking for some potential color pairings to go alongside it, that's what this video is all about. One of the very first things I take a look at when I'm reviewing a paint color is its light reflectance value, or its LRV. If you're a subscriber of this channel, you've heard me talk about this a lot. But really, it's a pretty important piece of information that is also pretty easy to understand. All it is, is a zero to 100 percentage of the light that any particular color reflects. Basically, the closer the color is to 100, the closer it'll appear as white. And then the opposite is true. As you get lower and closer to zero, the darker and darker and darker the color becomes. Calm OC22 has an LRV just under 76. This puts it in the light category of colors, borderline off-white, and I don't think you need a number to determine that. You can just look at it. Oh, just look at him. Look at him, sir. Just look at the thing now. Just look at it. Calm isn't light enough where it'll appear bright white and stark, but it will fulfill anyone's need for a paint color that feels light, airy, and calming. Imagine that. So we determined that, but what kind of light color is calm? Well, it's definitely neutral feeling in the sense that it doesn't have any strong undertones or even real saturation that stands out. There's definitely something going on there, but one of Calm's strengths is its subtlety. Traditionally, you can define an off-white like this. It's either warm or it's cool. It's a very oversimplification, but it works. And although Calm has some warmth to it, it does a pretty clever job at feeling balanced with a subtle dose of creamy beige mixed with a very faint purple gray mixed in as well. And that's its defining characteristic to me, that purple quality. It just has a delicate balance of warmth and soothing gray that differentiates it from a builder's beige, for example. I sort of hate that term, by the way, builder's beige. I like beige. I don't like slandering an entire color category just because it sounds kind of catchy. Builder's beige just rolls off the tongue. But if you did want a beige that was just a bit different, that's where calm comes in. And I've even used it in a house tour video we did specifically in the primary bedroom because of its relaxed, soothing quality. Let's get to some color pairings because it's my favorite part of the video. I picked these for calm and I have a light, a medium and a dark color as well as an off white or I guess white paint color that would make for an excellent baseboard and woodwork color choice. Starting with White Stone, which is a cool crisp gray at a 60-ish LRV. That's pretty much a 15 point difference compared to Calm. So not only are you getting a distinct change in undertones going from a kind of grayish beige to bluish gray, you also have a color that is noticeably deeper than the other. So that gives you contrast in two ways, both in color and also darkness or depth. What I like about White Stone is even though it's on the borderline of feeling like a mid-tone, there's something about it which is just kind of silvery and airy. It really opens it up a little bit, making it really nice to use in many spaces of your home. It does have a bit of a spa-like feeling in bathrooms especially, but there's nothing stopping you from using it in a living area, for example. I wanted to double down with this cool trend in my mid-tone color choice, which is definitely on the darker side of things, but it's beautiful. It's called Black Pepper and despite its name, it feels more of a dark shaded blue that continues the trend that White Stone started. It has an LRV just over 21, so that's quite low, quite a bit darker, but it really has a lovely elegance to it, and it is a natural fit alongside White Stone. I find colors like Black Pepper work alongside Calm because Calm isn't overly beige or yellow leaning, which could clash with those blue colors a little bit. They're both pretty sleek and soothing colors. As we go for the dark color pairing, I selected Wrought Iron, which is even darker than the last, and it looks a bit more like what Black Pepper is actually like in person, in real life. I mean, the, the spice, okay, not the color. Wrought iron is a true slate gray. It doesn't read as black, but it's dark, especially in those underlit parts of your home. It brings forth a ton of contrast, especially against calm and white stone, but even against black pepper, you'll notice the lack of blue in wrought iron. I see it as a great alternative to black pepper in those parts of the home that you maybe don't want a ton of blue all over the place. 
nice. Not a ton of deviations in the whole color palette so far, but things are cohesive, which is what you want. You don't necessarily need complementary colors all the time. This palette is a little more adjacent in nature. The off-white paint color we're finishing up with is maybe something you did not expect based on all the blue we've been talking about. It's cloud white, which is an absolute tried and true warm white that is beautiful on the trim in this color palette. Yes, it does have some yellow, but it's also toned down a bit with some gray and beige, so it won't feel like yellow highlighter on all your woodwork. If you wanna see some of these colors utilized in a real home, don't forget to check out our house tour video we did right over here. I loved how this project turned out.